Nowadays, everybody's got to go to shrinks and counselors and go on Sally, Jesse, Raphael and talk about their problems. Whatever happened to Gary Cooper? I think he put a lot of himself into that character and made you actually like someone that was supposedly evil. And I just feel really bad that he passed, that's all. And that's why I'm here. I think he was all heart and um, he put all heart into his work and that's what killed him, you know. Whereas Michael Jackson died of a broken heart, this man was all intensity and uh, you have to pay respect to such a man, you know. Yeah, I was, I was on The Sopranos season three. I slapped Tony's sister. Do you know who I am? Do you know who my brother is? Brother, what? What did you say? <laughs> the couple days I spent with him, you know, he was very supportive, very helpful. I asked him a question, he would answer, you know, about acting. He was, he would like, he loved talking about acting. I understand therapy as a concept, but in my world, it does not go down. As a matter of fact, even when I travel out of state, uh, I get a lot of people, especially when the show was on the air, I was always told that I resemble him. I'm from Kentucky. I drove up for the funeral of uh, Mr. Gandolfini. Obviously, the final scene, you know, is classic. In fact, I went to Holston's Diner on Tuesday just to have lunch there, you know. As, as a New Jerseyan, as someone who grew up in New Jersey, who was born in New Jersey, who went to Rutgers, uh, and the, the flags flew at half staff on Friday on Monday, so definitely a lot of people in the state care about it. I did meet him a few times. I can't say that I knew him, but I met him and he was very humble on set, um, an inspiration. So it's a very sad day, but we celebrate him today, you know? It's going to be a long time before another one like him come along. That's the way I feel about it.